Hi, in this tutorial, we will going to build a matrix with a drill down uh, report. Um, what's the difference between matrix and a table? Uh, the difference between the matrix and the table, the tables bring the data as is, but the matrix it's grouping by. See, um, if I'm creating, um, let's see here, I have created the report. I have uh, the shared data source uh, called the Adventure Works, which is I created here the shared data source. That um, and here I have uh, the data set that using my embedded data source. This is the shared and this is the embedded data source. My data is right here. You guys need to test it first in your uh, SMS, which is I use the Adventure Works and I joined uh, some tables and this is my data sets right here if i come here let's show you i use the the data sets embedded in my report and this is my uh, data source and i use the text uh, here uh, the query type to in order to type my query and press ok so first of all let me insert the matrix and this is my matrix right here and make it a little bit you know bigger uh, now let's call here the category name and put our rows and let me make my data as the, the line total okay so we will realize here this is my uh, my uh, row that will be groups by the category uh, name and here uh, my uh, line total I didn't groom by any uh, columns yet which is will be right here and let's see what's gonna have okay see so guys I have here the category name and this is the line total which is this is the sum uh, we need to uh, make this more uh, readable the line total and let's go back here first let's give a color to this one and made it um, a maroon and made this one oh, the letter is white and let me check everything's good yes it is okay now let's go to some total if you want right click on the box and go to properties and let's go to the number let me make a currency and the decimal let's manage zero press ok let's go back to preview okay now it's better all right let's make a little bit this one a bigger like this now uh, let me add more uh, if I add here the sub category name okay and let's put the product name as well and let's preview okay this is my matrix right now now let me just uh, Make it this bit wider. The same for this one. Let's drag it from right here. Okay. Um, let me right now add here and group by the columns as well. And let me call the order year. Okay. And the order month. Okay. And let's see how it's gonna be look like. See, this is how it will be. Need to go all the way to the right to see all the data for each of my uh, ca category name. You know, it's divided into four. This is not readable, of course. Um, that why we need to create the drill down the report, but. First of all, if you realize here, the month 
here is coming as a number. So why we are not, you know, made it as, let's see here, the order here, it's, this is says line total and I want it as order year. Let me go to say here, this one, it's order year. Press OK. Let's go back here. OK. Here, let me sort it uh, descending. I want to see, go Border, uh, no, 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 not here. I believe this one. Let's sort it this one. It's, no, it's not like this. First, let me rename made a uh, expression for the my month because I want to see not the number, I want to see a name. So let's go to the expression and let's delete this. Okay. And if you go to the common function and go to the date, you will see here, this is the month name right here. Double click on it. It will, you know, go to jump right here and open the parentheses and then go to the my fields and I need the order month. Okay, and close the parentheses and I press OK and I press OK. Let's preview and let's see how it's gonna look like. Cool, I see now here, um, you know, months. As a name. Now, if I want to come to, to create my drill down report, if you see, let's come to the rows. Uh, I have a parent and child. The one that's on the top, it's the parent, and the one that is under it is the child of that parent. So here I have the category name is the parent, and the subcategory name is the child for the category name, and a product name is the child for the subcategory name, which is the subcategory name is the child of the category name, but is the parent of the product name. So now what we have to do is come to right here and right click, go to group properties, and let's uh, go to visibility, show, click on the show or hide based on the expression. Display, can toggle, no, go to hide, sorry. Go to hide and display can be toggle by report item is, which is I have the category name and press OK. All right, let's test it. Each single uh, step that you are doing on the your report you need to test it first so see guys I have now the subcategory name it's under the category name here how I can you know expand it and and collapse my report and let's go do the same for product name go properties go visibility go to hide Disable and go to subcategory name. Press OK. Let's go to preview. Uh, let me see. OK. Let's go to bikes. OK. See, I still have another drill down. Let's go to road bikes. And now I have the product names like here under it. OK. Now let's going to do the same for 
uh, the columns the rows now it's been grouped by each one has a parent and child here I have the order here is the parent and let's go to the child underscore sorry uh, right click and go to group properties and let's go to visibility hide display where is the order if you see here I don't have the order here see guys I don't have it I have like text boxes here so which one I have to choose from these text boxes because as long as the name is not available so of course it's one of these text boxes the order here how we know that go to keep click on this uh, the order here and if you see on the right here uh, it says text box 8 so the order here for me it's the text box 8 let's right to click right here go back again to the visibility hide and let's go to text box 8 press ok let's preview and let me see ok see guys now it's been everything has been sorted as I want as the drill down and here I am like you know move let me see to by x x oh this is accessories that doesn't have that much let's go here then I expand the 2015 like this the same for the uh, 2006 and one more thing if you want to sort the data I mentioned multiple times you can coming from here and sort it if you want from Z to A the same uh, for the month if you want to sort it from Z to A like this and it will be sorted from the Z to A let's start from 2000 A all the way to 5 the same for the month will be started from like this July all the way to January or the same for this one December all the way to January so this is how we are uh, create the matrix and uh, drill down uh, a report uh, in SRS thank you for watching my video and see you for next videos bye